Only on two more fallout in the south suburbs surrounding your tax dollars. This Markham police officer already under investigation after being exposed by CBS2. Now he's no longer on the streets. And tonight, Jermon Terry discovers he's not the only Markham employee the city is looking into for operating an unlicensed business in the city. Jermont. Erica, tonight up to 10 Markham employees find themselves right on the city's radar. All of those workers receive those federal tax dollars through the Paycheck Protection Program. Yet city leaders want to know why there's no record of their business before now. Weeks after CBS2 uncovered more than 1,400 possible ghost businesses in Markham, the city takes another step to find out why people who received those federal tax dollars never registered their businesses locally. We are casting a wider net. As Derek Champion walks City Hall, he reveals the probe now entails those who work here. The names of every city employee have been entered into the Federal Paycheck Protection Program database, and that's when more red flags appeared. There's several and several consist of 10, 15, 5, 4, 2. Anywhere between 5 and 10. Up to 10 current employees who now find themselves in the same predicament as Markham Police Officer Kenneth Muldrow. Officer Muldrow, how you doing? Jermont Terry with Channel 2 News. As of today, Kenneth Muldrow is no longer patrolling the streets of Markham. The officers on paid administrative leave. An internal affairs investigation is trying to pinpoint why he failed to disclose his landscaping company. CBS2 showed you how he received a PPP loan for $20,000 for the unlicensed business. I'm trying to figure out why your lawn care service is not registered as a licensed business with the city of Markham. Can you explain yourself? <laughs> I don't have a, a long hair thing. Yet last week on Muldrow's Facebook page, someone wrote, I have a legitimate business that is in good standing. If that's the case. There are certain rules, especially a police officers, they have to um, let us know about um, other employment or business opportunities. Now, the city learned, says that they learned about office, the officer's business only after our original story aired. On his PPP application, Officer Muldrow stated that he's been operating that business for at least two years, and now the city wants to know the same about those additional 10 employees who all work here at City Hall who are under investigation tonight. Reporting live, Ed Markham, I'm Dermot Terry, CBS2 News. Erica? All right. Dermot, thank you.